Hello YouTubers, um, this is a video on uh, how to weld a diff. did this video a few years ago uh, on my other channel, unfortunately I lost the password. So I'm just going to basically uh, re-put it up now as one of my first videos just so you can get an idea of uh, what we're about and uh, how we do things. So this video is how to weld a diff. Okay, here we are. As you can see, we have a, a differential here from an E30 BMW. All cars are the same. Uh, obviously, now we've prepared this, it just doesn't just fall out like that. There's just a couple of bolts on either side. Every car, basically, every rear drive car is basically the same. Uh, same setup as you got here. Some casings, obviously, are slightly different, and the way you take it out is slightly different. What we like to do is we put a metal plate in there, as you can see. It's about three to four mil thick, uh, and you just weld. You can see with the screwdriver, weld the four corners. The reason we put the plate in, it just makes it easier um, to put the weld in, and obviously stronger. Because as you can see, without the plate, there's just a big hole there. I've heard of people putting all sorts of stuff in, like old bolts and all sorts of stuff to try and fill up the gap. The problem is with that you could offset the balance of the diff uh, if you put a lot of metal in it one side it's going to vibrate and it could just literally vibrate itself to bits so we like to put the metal plate in um, and also what we do is we do weld the gears together uh, as well um, obviously the actual casing is cast so um, you know depending on what sort of welding stuff you have but we like I said we just weld the gears together. Another thing we do, we leave a bit of oil around the gears and the seals because obviously the heat of the weld uh, can start warping and, and doing damage. The weld sounds a bit funny, um, but it's still penetrating, which is obviously the most important thing. Um, you know, Some people say, oh, it doesn't sound right, but it's okay because there's oil there on purpose it stops damage not a lot of oil you don't need it drenched in oil but it's nice just to keep a bit of oil especially around the bearings and stuff as you can see there just to um, just to stop them from overheating or warping now this is the plate we put in um, like I said well you'll see now in a minute it just it just makes life so much easier uh, cut it to size and then just weld weld the four corners uh, we did this diff around about two years ago, uh, two and a half years ago, and we use it uh, about once a week, uh, and never, never had a problem. It's still going now, um, so that's good, as you can see now. Now you can see the actual uh, weld and the smoke coming out beside the bearing there. Um, it's also a good idea, after you've done it, to give it a good rinse through. Um, just to make sure there's no bits or anything in like that uh, that could do any damage so yeah, make sure it's spinning freely as well don't be afraid of the noises it's making because it does sound a bit funny with oil there but as long as you get a good clean weld you'll have no problem <laughs> the other good thing to do is if it does get too hot just uh, don't cool it down with water or anything like that because you, you can actually warp stuff. You can use a MIG or a stick, it doesn't really matter. Obviously I'm using a MIG. It's just a little bit easier with a MIG uh, than a stick welder. And obviously with a stick welder you are creating a lot more heat. So you definitely want to maybe do it in stages with a, with a stick welder rather than trying to do it in one because um, you can actually warp something and if you warp something obviously you know as you're trying to put the car trying to drive away in the car it's not going to like it and eventually you're going to do damage you could obviously damage the diff but you could also do a lot more damage if it locks up 
and put you off the track. This is obviously the cheapest way of doing it rather than buying a proper LSD diff because uh, obviously some LSD diffs are very expensive. Uh, and to be honest, especially for the track use, you don't really need a proper LSD diff. There's advantages obviously with having one, um, but you don't really, really need one. Especially if you're just starting off drifting or anything like that. You can uh, just weld your diff, get a bit of practice, and if you want to um, buy a proper one then. The downside to welding your diff if you put it on the road, which isn't really advisable. I know some people do, but I personally wouldn't. When you turn around corners, both wheels are spinning at exactly the same time. If you're in a car park trying to park, you're going to hear this horrible clicking as, you, as your wheels. Um, what I'm just pointing to there is just making sure we mark everything as we take it off and put it back in the same place, just in case there's any slight differences. And as you can see, you know, the plates the other side. So yeah, um, and that's her now. Just also check it. Just make sure it's spinning freely, just in case there's any binder or anything like that. Because um, obviously when you put it back in the car, you, you want to be able to take off. That's the car it's going back into. And then it's just time to, to have a lot of fun. A couple of second hand tyres. A couple of hours work. What more do you want? Great fun. Well, thanks for watching. Hope this has been informative. Hope um, if you have any questions, just drop me a line. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>